What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. What I want to talk to you guys about right now is the golden ticket situation for Madden 21 Ultimate Team. I know that the draft is going on right now, so right now before we even get into what I'm going to be showing you guys, I want to make it very, very clear. Right now is the time for you to got, you know, you guys to experiment and see what cards really work the best for you. These golden tickets are very, very bad. It's not something like how it used to be. I think even last year we had a little bit more fun because of certain golden tickets. This year is really, really bad. Uh, the James Morgan is garbage. RG3 is garbage. The Robert Woods, I thought he was decent. He's garbage. This, the cards are just trash. Jadavion Clowney, like a lot of what's going on right now is really, really wild and ridiculous. So I just want to make sure that everybody is clear with it. This is something that you're going to have to figure out on your own. As far as like, look, does, is this dude trash or is he not? Because many of you guys, for the most part, when I was talking about RG3, I lost like, let me see, 1.5, bam, 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 five. I lost about a mil because his card dropped down. I'm gonna show you guys the price that I sold him for in a second. So I lost about a mil on him. I don't want anybody else losing coins because people know that he's garbage. And one of the biggest things about him is, and I've seen the feedback that you guys have given me, he doesn't move like he's a 98 speed. I think we can all agree with that. Um, you know, I got a lot of feedback on that. Uh, the fact that he overthrows and sails every pass, like, it's so stupid. I, I don't know. You know what it is? I, I, I don't even know if you can really... You wouldn't be able to keep him now until we see what the developer golden tickets are. Because most of the golden tickets that were made by the users of the game, they either have no idea what they're doing or they just don't care. That's pretty much what it is. Like, I don't really see how you can actually put together uh, a team, you know, a, a team of golden tickets that are this disgusting. All right, so there's nothing that anybody, you know, Taysom Hill, I was saying, you know what, we could probably try him out. But now I'm realizing, bro, he's gonna be garbage too. Like, it's not like he's gonna be any better because his release right now is trash. Based on the cards that I've used, Deshaun Watson, um, let me see, Lamar Jackson was sorta of okay, but not too good, unless you're on the run with him. But like, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Jackson, I mean, Deshaun Watson. That's it. I don't know why I'm confusing the receiver with the um, actual quarterback, but those are the players right there. Those are the guys that are going to be very, very suitable for getting the ball out of your hands. If, look, anybody that would have chosen to make an Aaron Rodgers with like a 92 speed with all those crazy numbers, like everything 99, would have been a superhero. But this is just to show you that these people don't understand the game and what really matters in the game. Because RG3's release is horrid. And it's even worse when you start to analyze it like, yo, they actually put this card together and EA Sports didn't even try to tune it a little bit and try to hide it or mask it. They just gave him a trash card. Robert Woods, that dude is garbage. This is what happened, right? I told you guys, cause like, you know, most of you guys, you like for me to experiment with the card before you guys actually go and get it. And then we kind of figure which one is good and then we go from there. If you look at all of the golden tickets, I purchased four. James Morgan is hot caca, right? Mike Evans is trash. Robert Woods garbage. RB, uh, RG3, that dude sucks. So now, when we analyze the other golden tickets that are there, like, it depends. Like, Jadavion Clowney, if you give him, like, edge threaded lead or something like that, he might go crazy. It's something to where it's like, I can't really, like, bro, it's very difficult for me to try to explain to you guys how bad these golden tickets are. Because for everybody that says that they're bad, there's somebody that's gonna use them and have success. But overall, I think that we're looking for something that's just not there, and we need to be realistic. At this point right now, I don't see any golden ticket that's gonna be a card that we're gonna really go crazy over. I think what's gonna end up happening is, whatever promo they give us, you know, obviously we got the rookie premieres, they might do something like a summer blast or something. Those are gonna be the cards that people are gonna go after. I think this year of golden tickets is just a wash. You know, unless the unless the developers make some really good ones to maybe try to counteract the horrific gameplay, and it's like, all right, cool, they did something right. I don't know what else is gonna happen. Because the thing that's very, very interesting to me, I've played several people over the weekend and weekend league with RG3. It's hilarious how long the ball takes to get out. So if you send a blitz, like I'm always blitzing, you guys see what's going on. I'm either gonna blitz everybody or I'm gonna send like whatever and run odd and I'm gonna still scream. So to see how long it takes for the ball to get out, it's absolutely hilarious when it's not your RG3. I recently dropped the gameplay for you guys where you guys were able to see it. Like, yo, look, look look what's going on. I'm showing and proving. You guys want to say like, yo, g Maya, bro, you said this dude is garbage, prove it. Now I'm showing you the gameplay. So what's happening is 
a lot of people are starting to see it like, oh, okay, you know, this dude is raging, but yeah, that dude's garbage. And then you're seeing it like, oh, so something's up. What is up is the people that were able to make the golden tickets, they, dude, listen, I, I don't really, it's a six foot tight end that has 99 run block. And then I put him out there, one game he plays unbelievable, the next game he's getting shedded. So I'm like, okay, he has to go. Because why? His price, those golden tickets, like, um, you know, Jadavion Clowney, Robert Woods, Mike Evans, these guys were teetering around 275K yesterday. It was disgusting. People are not having it. They, the community right now is very, very frustrated. But again, it's about what you want to make. I understand, like, if you like a card and you want to make it, that's all cool. But you got to understand that if you don't really know what you're doing, and I think that's why, you guys remember when uh, they used to tell you exactly who made the golden ticket? You guys been playing Madden that long? It used to be on the card. They used to, like, give you the at of the person. And I think the reason that they stopped doing it is because of this because people will just rage all over it. Now, we know a lot about the people that made some of the cards because they were going back and forth, trying to get do-overs because EA made different versions of the cards, 99. Oh yeah, by the way, Aaron Rodgers is back. For those of you guys that you know watch me during the stream, you guys know he was back. I'd rather lose with him and be happy than go out there with RG3 and win and be completely disgusted about what's going on. So that's my preference, right? So, back in the day, they used to put the ad, the Twitter ad, of the players that made the golden tickets. That didn't last very long because people don't have um, a lot of filters when it comes to social media. There's a lot of like keyboard warriors and, and crazy stuff goes on. So, you know, that didn't work out too well. So now you have to like let yourself be known like, yo, I got it, bro. Like I got it and go out for people to know that you actually have the golden ticket. And then, you know, the same situations are going to happen in that regard. But I just want you guys to understand, you guys got to see, I raid sold a lot of players and each and every one of them, like Braylon Edwards, I don't need him anymore because we're mossing with Kyle Pitts, so it's not that big of a deal, AKA Kyle dig out your girl pit. But it's a situation where at this point, I would not waste time on golden ticket RG3. And I know you guys are waiting for the next player, but I would get rid of him now because I don't see any type of, unless EA Sports comes out and says, look, we made a mistake, we're gonna tune his release, stuff like that, which I don't think they'll do because it would be kind of weird. I don't know if they're gonna change his whole archetype like right now. I don't think it'll work like that. So I would try to get rid of him now, guys, and just wait. And then we'll probably try out Taysom Hill. Maybe he'll surprise us, you know what I'm saying? Tim Tebow, I, I don't know. No, I heard Tim Tebow's windup is kind of garbage though. I don't know, but maybe another card. I just don't want you guys to lose because I lost over a mil. Bro, this is real, this is real life. It comes at you fast, bro. Like it really comes at you fast. Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can pull a golden ticket, you know, playing around with the training variety packs as I was raging uncontrollably. But I really needed to get this out to you guys. Now, some of you guys are gonna say, yo, Gmai, so what's the next best th the next best thing? You gotta go far for Aaron Rodgers. And I know it sounds like, yo, bro, them dudes ain't really, nah. I know, but the ball's gonna get out. Josh Allen, he does, he can't get hot, hot route master right now, but the ball will get out. And that is the biggest thing about Madden 21. It's about getting the ball out of your hands as fast as possible. And RG3 just is not it. I had a, bro, once I got rid of him uh, over the weekend, I just, I'm on a winning streak. Like I had to just get rid of him, dude. That dude right there is really, really trash. Now everything is fun with the, you know, the ability slots and, you know, field general boxes and, you know, all the other stuff, you know, scrambler box. He's terrible. He's really just absolutely terrible. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, I'm gonna put together some stuff for you guys. I'll be back with some more information about what we're gonna do going forward, but I just wanted to make sure you guys thoroughly understood. Share your experience with them. If you like them, you like them. I'm happy for you. But for the most part, a lot of you guys are not gonna like the way he plays uh, because he is kind of trash. And that's pretty much what it is. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. Enjoy your day. One love, y'all.